So you see the things that's happening with our people today on the earth? Why are those things happening to us? Because we're not honoring the commandments of God. Do you know the commandments? Hey, y'all right there in that truck. Do y'all know y'all are Israelite according to the Bible? We're not black or Puerto Ricans or Hispanics. Come over here, bro. Let me show you some commandments. Give me the beer. Leviticus 21. You say the reason why we're going through these things is because we're not honoring the commandments of God, right? And what was your name again? Mark. Mark. Come over here, Mark. Come deal with me real quick. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you a commandment. So when we come back to the commandments and keep the commandments, the Lord is going to deal with us, right? I'm going to show you an easy commandment that you can keep that's not hard. Leviticus 21 and 5. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. You know what that's talking about? To make baldness upon your head. Meaning we're not supposed to shave our head bald like Michael Jordan. You, you understand that? Tyrese, we're not supposed to do those things. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So also he say we should not shave off the corners of our beard. I see you shave your beard off. Why? Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. What did the Bible just say? Remember, you say the reason why we're going through the things we're going through is because we broke the commandments, right? So this commandment says you're not supposed to do what with your beard? Shave the corners of it, like get a gold tee, get a chin scrap. We're not supposed to do those things. Say it. It's physical, brother. No, no, we weren't taught. We were taught that we listen to me, Mark. We were taught to think that it was an allegory. This is plain as day. The Lord said, "Don't shave your head bald. Neither shall you shave off your." Beard. What's so hard about that? You see that? Our people, you just said, the reason why we're going through the things we're going through is because we broke the command. This is a plain commandment. It's not an allegory. Let's read it again. Thou shalt not make baldness upon their head. Mark, that's plain. Don't shave your head off bald. That's plain. Read. That, neither, shall, neither shall they shave off the corners off their beard. When God's laws come out, our people run. How you doing, sis? Do you know according to the Bible that the blacks and the Hispanics are the Israelites? The people that Moses brought out of Egypt? You ever heard that before? That's what's your nationality? I'm asking you in the car. What's your nationality? Y'all two in the blue car. Mexican. What did y'all say? Mexican? Do y'all know that y'all from the tribe of Issachar that you not Mexican? That's right. That the blacks and the Hispanics are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? Bring it out. We are God's chosen people. Do you know it's documented that this land was going to be taken from your people? That's documented in the Bible. But guess what? We just showed the brother that you're not supposed to shave your beard off. The brother said that's an allegory. That's plain as day. The reason why we in the conditions that we in today is because we refuse to keep God's laws. Give me that, Isaiah chapter 30. The brother said that's an allegory. This is not deep. God's laws is not deep. This is not the deep part of the Bible. We're dealing with plain and simple things. But this is the read. This is the thing that's going on with our people. This is why he said what he said. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 8. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So God told Isaiah to write this prophecy down in the Bible about our people, you blacks and Hispanics. Watch what the Lord say. Read. That this is a rebellious people. What the Bible say about the blacks and the Hispanics? This is a rebellious people. When God's laws come out, we rebel against what the Bible says. Jeez. God say, don't shave your beard. Don't shave your head bald. But what do we say? Oh man, I just, you know what I'm saying? But that's an allegory. That's too deep. Israel is a rebellious people. 
hard-headed, don't want to do nothing the Bible say. Read. Lying children! What does the Bible say? Lying children! The Israelites is a bunch of liars. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord! Why? Because they want to make excuses. Our people do not want to hear God's laws. They don't want to hear nothing this Bible say. God said no buying or selling today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Hey, how you doing, bro? Do you know according to the Bible that we are the real Jews? That we're not blacks or African Americans? But the Bible says that the Israelites will refuse to hear what the Bible say. Read. Which say, say to the seers, see not. Who are the seers? We are the seers. We are out here to look over your souls. Right. We are out here to look over your souls. But you say to us, don't go in that Bible and show me what I'm doing wrong. That's what you say. Read. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. So we come out here to tell you, don't smoke weed. Don't smoke crack. Don't toot heroin. Don't shoot up heroin. Put the cigarettes down. Put the guns down. Stop gang banging. Take care of your kids. The, wo the woman that you're having sex with, marry her because that's what the Bible says. That's right. But you say to us, don't tell us the right things. Let us do us. Let me do me. Death is coming to each and every last one of y'all that want to do you. Teacher. That go according to your own heart. That's and according right. to your own mind. Bring it out. Read. Speak unto us. Smooth things. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell me God loves me no matter what I do. Tell me God loves the sinner and hates the sin. Tell me it's okay for me to come as I am. This is what you want to hear. You want to hear everything going to be okay. Everything not going to be okay. That's the right. day of the Lord is at hand. That's Judgment right. is coming to this earth. And if you ain't got yourself right according to this Bible, you're going to get judged. That's that's right. Right. You're going to get that fire that's coming to this place. Nuclear thermal fire. Bring Did you know out. that was coming to this uh, earth, brother? That the Lord is going to destroy America that we love so much? God is going to destroy this place. Can't y'all see it? Y'all can't tell the signs of the times that we living in? Bring it out. It's time to repent and get your minds right. A lot of y'all hate the Bible. Y'all hate to keep God's laws. Read it again. Speak things. Unto us smooth things. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell us everything going to be all right. Read. Prophesy deceit. Y'all want us to tell y'all lies. It's, give me Jeremiah 5 and 31. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets is your preachers, your deacons in these churches, your minister. They prophesy unto you lies. They tell you that it's okay to celebrate Christmas. It's okay to be a boyfriend and a girlfriend when the Bible says marriage is honorable. That's right. They tell you it's okay to celebrate Easter. Easter is not in the Bible. They tell you that it's okay. And listen, it's okay to smoke cigarettes. Everybody made mistakes in their life. This is what your pastor teach you. He teach you lies. Read. And the priest bear rule. By the means. And the only reason they teach you is because you're giving them your tithe money. That's, right. That's not, we're not supposed to be giving up tithes. That's the only reason they teach you because you're paying the pastor. Where's that at in the Bible? Read. And my people love to have it so. The Bible says you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you love lies. You love to be lied to. You black and Hispanics love lies. That's why we're in the condition that we're in today, because we broke the commandments. You love evil. Go back to Isaiah chapter 30. Our people love to be lied to. We don't want the truth of the Bible. Like Christ said, Christ said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth is going to make you free. Read. First, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 30. And and verse 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, that will not hear the law of the Lord. Our people don't want to hear God's laws, and we're going to go into God's laws 
and see everybody that say they believe in the Bible, we gonna truly find out if you believe in this book. We about to find out if you blacks and Hispanics truly believe in what this book say. Read on. Verse 10, which say to the seers, see not. Don't tell us what we doing wrong out of this Bible. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell me I gotta take care of my kids. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell me it's okay for me to be a whoremonger and sleep with as many women as I can. That's what you wanna hear. Tell me it's okay for me to celebrate Christmas and it's not in the Bible. Tell me that God loves me no matter what I do. That's what you want. You want us to teach lies unto you. But we ain't teaching no lies out here. We coming straight out of the Bible. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Prophesy deceit. Teach you lies. Read. Get you out of the way. So that's what y'all do. When we come out here to teach y'all, y'all tell us, get out of the way. Get out the corner and let us do us. That's the Bible. That's you so-called blacks and Hispanics. That's right. The Bible says Israel refused to hear the commandments. Give me that. Marriage. Let's talk about marriage. Something that's running rapid in our neighborhood. We not marrying one another. Baby mama and baby daddy is a common term and a common phrase amongst our people. This is a shame. And it's not good. You can sleep with the sister for five years straight. But you mean to tell me you can't marry the sister? And you sisters that are allowed, that open your legs for a man that don't want to marry you, shame on you. Shame on you. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Bring it out. Marriage. What? Marriage. Boyfriend. Marriage. Baby mama. Marriage. Baby daddy. Marriage. Marriage. I'm a Najee Twop. Marriage. It's honorable and all. The Bible says marriage is an honorable thing. Marriage is an honorable thing amongst God. God honor and respect marriage. Hey, how you doing, bro? Let me talk to you for a second. You believe in the Bible? You do? Our people don't believe in the Bible because the Bible says, he that is of God, hear God's words. Our people don't want to hear this Bible. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. So God's honor marriage. He don't honor boyfriend and girlfriend. But we as a people, no, I'm going to be a player for life. That's how we think. That's what we feel. I'm a pimp. Who taught you that? The white man taught you that. That's that right. rap music that you're allowing your kids to listen to taught them that. Bring it on! The Bible says raise your children up according to these laws, and they will not depart from it. That's right. But we don't want to do that. We want to do us. But it's a judgment coming for you doing you. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all, in the bed, undefiled. So whatever you and your wife do in the bed, it's okay if you marry. If you marry, it's okay. Read. Marriage is honorable in all, in the bed, undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. The Bible says God will judge whoremongers. You brothers that want to sleep around with all these different women, judgment is coming. And you wonder why you got HIV. Teach. You wonder why you call her STD. Right. Because you're a whoremonger. That boyfriend and girlfriend stuff is out the door. That's right. It's time right. to honor marriage again. That's it's right. time to make marriage honorable again. That's, That's right. right. It's time for you brothers to stand up and marry the woman that you're sleeping with. Bring it out. It's time for you sisters to close your legs until that man actually marry you. That's right. Shame on you sisters that's allowing a man to have sex with you and don't marry you. He don't love you. He don't want to, he don't want no commitment. Give me 1 Timothy 5. We're going to bring out some of these laws that we see going on with our people that we're not applying. As a people, we're not applying God's commandments. That's why we're in the condition that we're in today. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 14. Bring it out. I will therefore that the younger woman marry. Have a boyfriend. The younger woman marry. Go out on dates. Marry. The Bible says, I will therefore that the younger woman marry. 
Nowhere in the Bible do you fit, do you read about a baby daddy or a baby mama. The Bible says marriage is an honorable thing. If we have marriage in our community, the kids will grow up with a father and a mother. That's right. We don't we wouldn't we wouldn't have to grow up and say, man, I ain't have my daddy in my life. Bring it out. Why you think I why you think we saying that? Because we don't want to honor marriage. It'll be more structure in the house if we honored marriage. That's right. You stop letting your kids listen to these stupid rap songs. Bring it out. Talking about, I want to be a player. I want to be a G. All that music doing is destroying our people. Bring it out. All it's doing is right. All they rapping about is murder, murder, selling drugs, and game banging and sex. That's, that's what it, that's, that's what that's what they teaching your kids. And you cool with it. Read it again. I will therefore, I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children. The Bible says that our women supposed to get married and then have children. It's not the other way around. It's not, let me pop shorty off, do my thing with her, and then have some kids by her. That ain't in the Bible. That ain't what the Bible talking about. They shame our women day in and day out because we don't want to abide by this Bible. Jump up to verse 8. But if, but if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith. Our faith is supposed to be in this Bible. And a lot of y'all say y'all believe in the Bible and y'all got faith in the Bible. The Bible says if you don't take care of your own kids and help provide for your nation, you deny this Bible. You deny Christ. That's right. So what, what does the Bible say? You got to take care of your children. You women and you men got to get married. If you lay down with the sister, you're supposed to marry the sister. That's right. Hey, sis, how you doing? Come here real quick. I want to show you something. I want to show you something real quick. The, let's read that verse again. But if any provide not for his own, for his own, especially for those of his own house. So do you believe that a man's supposed to take care of his wife and his kids? Do you believe that? What's your name? My name is Mother. My name is Mother Love. Mother Love. My name is Zephaniah. Do you think a man's supposed to take care of his wife and kids? Let's see if God said it. Read it again. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith. Is that what that said? If a man don't provide for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he denied Christ. Because our faith is supposed to be in Christ, right? So, and don't allow the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? I believe in war. What that mean? It cleans me. It kills me up. It got lost. Life. Do you? Life. Okay. So, do you believe in the Bible? I believe that men wrote Bible. You believe? I believe that people didn't even know or understand what this water do for us. Have we don't see that the water can love us? You know, I don't think it's washing me up, filling me up, drawing me up, right? Sis. Sis. That's all I got. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, I'm ask you a question. Do you know why these things happen to our people right here? Because if you've been tricking, you can beat them. Why, why did this happen to us, though? Because if you've been tricking, you can beat them. It's called, you know, it's our best. You got a person running around, doing the drugs, somebody bring it in the end, bringing it out. We can, with past peoples, we got hope. But we shall be found. Now, I, any means hey, necessary. Come here, sis. Uh, come here, sis. I want to show you something real quick. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the water. I love you for doing this. Because the young man said you're doing it for us, right? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor prince any marsh upon you. I am the Lord. You heard what that said? Now give me the water. Hey, sis. Hey, sister. You heard what the Lord just said? To print marks upon you is called what? Today. What? Tattoos, sis. 
You got them all in your face. All in my face. Do you know that that's against the Bible? What's now the look, Bible? listen. I represent the Lord. My, 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 my tattoos mean deeper than the ocean, higher than the sky. I love you. I but sis, right God said. Down and look but up. sis, listen, I'm listen. Jesus. God you said we Christ. cannot. I'm that we Jesus. cannot print man. any marks upon us. No, we can't get tattoos, sis. That. You said that. The Bible said. You I just said read. That. That's your Bible. You don't believe in the Bible? I believe in the water. Let's show. Let's see what the water is in Ephesians five. That is. Hey, guess what, sis? You can't beat the Lord. Guess what, sis? You I'm not believing in this Bible? Judgment is coming for you, sis. I'm here. With your water. water. You in your water. Water, right. Here this is the book of Ephesians, chapter five and verse twenty-six, that we might we might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing. But you say the, you say about being cleansed, right? The water. The water, right? That we may, read it again. That we may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the what? By the word. Hey, sister, the only thing that's going to cleanse us is the word of God. The scripture, the scripture that I just read to you about not getting tattoos, that's what's going to cleanse you, sister. That's when you it. repent of your sins, okay? But if you don't repent, you and that water is going to burn. That's okay? right. You and that water is going to burn. That's oh, right. I want you to understand that. The Bible says the wage of sin is death. Okay? So it's either repent or you're going to get put to death. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.